We were talking about two column proofs and here are some examples of individual statements you can make uh, and use what is given and then supply the reason. So information that's given, we have angle one, the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is equal to 90 degrees. So what we could say in this case is we could say angle one and angle two are complementary angles. And um, the reason that we would put here is because of definition of complementary angles. Definition of complementary. Uh, the next thing that we come to is M is between D and B. So M is between D and B. In that case, we're thinking of um, adding these together. So if we had a quick sketch of this example, it doesn't say anything about being in the middle, but it just says M is between D and B. So in this case, what we'd be thinking is we could add these together. So DM plus MB is equal to the whole thing, which is DB. And that would be segment addition postulate. Next, we have uh, Q is the midpoint of RT, of line segment RT. Uh, is that's pretty similar to this, but the difference is that this says it's actually the midpoint. So if we were going to sketch this real quick, use my um, measurement, and I go from three to four, and use the half inch in between to show half inch. Now, I want when I make my sketches, or when you make your sketches, it helps to make them accurate, because then you can kind of see what's going on. And if it's in the midpoint, then we can say that these two are congruent. So if I put three marks here, I can put three marks there to show that they're congruent. So then we can say line segment RQ is congruent to line segment QT. And the reason that we can say that is because of the midpoint theorem. 